thriving drug trade has led to a thriving arms trade. Increasing drug-related deaths bear testimony to this. These are some of the hundreds of guns which illegally entered the country last year. How? There are several ways. They could have been shipped in from Miami, tucked inside plywood, and somehow passed customs at a port, like the Jamaat arms. In rare instances, some come through customs at Piaco. Cedrus is a notorious area of entry for smugglers. But these arms could have simply slipped in at almost any point at our 300 mile long coastline. In caves like the ones you just saw, it is easy to hide anything from arms to drugs. And there are thousands of similar caves right across the coastline of Trinidad and Tobago. Chief of the Defense Staff, Brigadier Brown, who would not go on camera, says the Coast Guard is not equipped to fight the drugs and arms trade. It has one aircraft, 19 years old, with no night sighting capability, a paltry three fast patrol boats, and 11 patrol launches. I mean, those things cost a lot of money, and it depends on the availability of funds to deal with these things. I, so I, don't, I can't tell you that I'm going to get 10 other vessels when we don't have money to buy two. Brown says the threat is real, particularly since he says the Jamaat's contacts in Miami and possibly the customs are intact. Not so, says the minister. But I am not going to go running all over the place as though I have shadows behind me threatening to, to, to kill and burn down the country. I, I, I am not going to put any extra sort of security measures in place. As I have said before, they, they, are, they are outside, and if there are any infractions of the law, they will, they will be dealt with, with as any other citizen. What's to be done? The National Security Minister says, with assistance from America and France, the government will be able to crack the drug and arms trade soon, starting with customs. We have a big problem at customs, and. Uh, it is something that the government has, has reiterated over and over that we are dealing with that situation. And uh, I mean, it is one of the most uh, crucial areas in this country that is the ports and the whole customs function. Arresting so-called drug lords. Very soon we will, we will probably have the type of information and evidence that we require before you, we, uh, in order to arrest those so-called drug lords, as you put it. One must understand that you do not just accept rumor that X or Y are drug lords and you just go out there and arrest them. You need proper evidence to, to have convictions. The fact is, there are still a large number of arms out there. In the early 70s, the infamous flying squad fought armed guerrillas. This time, the solution could lie in an amnesty. If it is that it is not possible to find the arms through the normal security measures, then one may very well have to consider some amnesty program to get these people to bring in their arms. The Chief of Defense says it's time citizens do their duty, tip off the security forces when they can. In the meantime, we live behind bars, are sometimes armed, and perhaps not a little paranoid. Ira Mathur, TV6 News, with a special report, Up in Arms.